In this video, I'll show you how to use a Trust Wallet browser extension. If you already have a wallet on your phone, you can easily sync it to the browser extension and you can create a brand new wallet via this method as well. I'll leave the Trust Wallet website linked in the description below if you need to get through to this page. In the top right hand corner, we're gonna click download. And then from here, I'm gonna download it for Chrome. It is available on some other browsers as, as well if you use those. This is the Chrome store. You can see I've already downloaded it. But once you've got the extension downloaded, you want to bring up the extension itself. It's gonna take you through to this page. So agree to the terms and conditions. And then from here, we have a few methods, either creating a brand new wallet. So I'll show you that. I already have a wallet, which means that if you have the recovery phrase to your wallet, which should be 12 words, then you can recover it manually during uh, this option right here. And if you have the uh, wallet already on your phone, then you can just scan a QR code to load the wallet and reload it on your extension as well and use the exact same wallet and you'll see all of the same tokens and coins that you have. I'll show you how this looks then. So create a new wallet. Then you have to enter a password. This is an app specific password. It gets you into the application itself. So if you lock the extension, then to unlock it, you need this password. If you delete the extension and then reload it, you can create a brand new password. This isn't the recovery to your wallet or anything else. It's just an app lock password. So if you forget this, uh, as long as you have your recovery phrase to the wallet, uh, then you can just delete the extension, reload it and set a new password if you want. Uh, so, you know, it's something we need. So you can either use a actual password or if you have biometrics on your device, you can just use biometrics as well. It's the same for, I already have a wallet. It's gonna ask you to set the password. Then the next page will be, what's your recovery phrase, which I'll show you in a second. So when you set up a wallet, uh, brand new, you get a recovery phrase, and that is the really important thing to recover your wallet elsewhere. Uh, so that actually isn't set up until we get into the app. So I'll show you that in a second. Or you can scan the QR code here, set the password, and I'll just show you what this looks like. Um, so we can see right here that if you do have the wallet already, go up to the wallet. So up at the top, it says main wallet for me. You might have renamed it. Down at the bottom, it says sync to extension. So once you've done that, it'll open your camera and then there'll be a QR code here. Once you've set the extension password, you can scan that. So that's just app specific. Once you actually get into the app, then we can actually save the recovery phrase. If you're a new user, that's really important. If you've already got a wallet, I'm sure you've done that already. I just synced the wallet from my phone. It asks me to scan the QR code and then on your device, you have to scan the QR code from your phone. Then it will give you a pin number that you have to put in and it's synced so I can open the wallet now. If you aren't syncing anything and creating a new wallet, then all you have to do is just enter your password. It will take you to this page and it will just say, we've created your wallet so we can open the wallet right now. And on the right hand side, you won't see any of these coins because uh, your wallet will be fresh if you've created a new wallet. Um, if you've synced it, then you'll just see your wallet right here. So you can see all of uh, the tokens have already synced and then we can go ahead and use the wallet. If you've just created a new wallet, then it's really important to back up your wallet. And there's a few ways to do this. Once the wallet is open here, go to the settings in the top right, and then go down to manage wallets, and then main wallet, that will be the one that you just created. And down here it says secret phrase. That's the backup to your wallet. So if you lose your computer or it blows up, it doesn't matter, as long as you have this secret phrase, you can recover your wallet on any other device, be it extension or phone or anything. You can just download the app again. When you're uh, entering the app, it says, do you want to recover your wallet? Say yes, and you can enter this phrase. This is 12 words. Anyone who has those 12 words has access to the wallet. So never share this with anyone. Don't show it to anyone. Write it down, keep it somewhere extremely safe uh, because if you lose it and you lose access to the device, then you'll never get your crypto back again. And if anyone else has this, they can load your wallet on their device as well and take all of your crypto out of the wallet. So this is the important thing. That is the backup to your wallet and you need to keep it safe and uh, private as well. So once you've done that, um, it doesn't matter what happens to the extension, but you need that uh, before anything else to make sure your wallet is backed up. There is also an option to back it up in your iCloud as well or your Google Cloud. Um, that's fine, but then if it's online, it may get hacked. Um, so it's usually recommended to just write it down and keep it somewhere safe and make sure that it you know, doesn't go anywhere or get damaged in any way. So once you've backed up your wallet, then you can uh, start using it. So we'll go to home and then we can use the features. Now that we've got the wallet set up, we can find all the addresses that we may want to send tokens to. And there's a few ways to do this. The first is to go up to the top here and just click this icon. 
and it's going to give you all of the different addresses for the different supported blockchains. You'll notice that many blockchains have their own unique addresses. So you have to be sure exactly which blockchain that you're using and where you want the coins in your wallet. So for example, BNB Smart Chain, because Trust Wallet is owned by Binance, you may use the BNB Smart Chain here. That is your BNB Smart Chain address. I will search for Ethereum. You can see this is your Ethereum address. And if you use Tron, that's your Tron address. They might be completely different. Uh, and if you're using Tron to send your SDT, then the gas fees are gonna be different on that network. The uh, wallet address is different. And of course, to pay transaction fees on these networks, you always need to send a little bit of the layer one coin into your wallet first in order to pay for transaction fees. So on Tron, the uh, layer one coin is TRX. So you need to get some TRX into your wallet to this address. For BNB Smart Chain, the uh, layer one coin is BNB coin. So you need some of that to use the network. For Ethereum, the layer one coin is ETH. So you need some of that in your wallet on this network to this address right here to actually pay for your transaction fees. You can find all of the different addresses right here. What you can also do is search by, uh, via specific tokens. So if you come, uh, come down here where it says manage crypto, click that. And then what we can do is search for the crypto that we want to use in our wallet. So let's say that I want to deposit some USDT. I can search for this and all networks right here. And then it says, these are all of the networks that USDT is supported on. Which uh, network do you want to use? So let's say that I want to use uh, Tether on Tron. I can click this on or Tether USDT on BNB Smart Chain. I can click that on. You can see that these two are now clicked on and you can search for all of them right here. You may have different wallet addresses for the same asset because they're on different blockchains. We can now go back here and come up to the top and we can press fund. And then it says receive from another wallet. So if you have USDT or any other token in a centralized exchange or another wallet, you wanna send it from that wallet into your trust wallet, right? So you can press receive from another wallet and it's gonna give you all of your token addresses that you can receive to. So I'm gonna click this one. And you can see a list of them here. Now USDT is toggled on, which is this one right here. Uh, and USDT on Tron is also toggled on as well. You can see that right here. So I can click that. I'll just show you my USDT on uh, BNB Smart Chain. So I'll click that. That's my wallet address. So if I want to send USDT to myself, uh, on the BNB smart chain, I can just take this address, put it into my centralized exchange and deposit the token. I'll show you how to deposit tokens from a centralized exchange then. This is gonna work for any centralized exchange as long as they support the asset and the blockchain that you're using. You can buy tokens on the centralized exchange and then get them out into your wallet. I'll leave links below to Binance, Kraken and the other exchanges I use. You can get some great deposit and trading bonuses on those if you're a new user via those links. But from here, we're gonna click fund and then receive from another wallet. And it says, which token do you want to receive? I'm gonna receive some BNB coin on the BNB smart chain. That will allow me to pay for transaction fees on this chain. And then I can deposit in some other tokens. I can swap tokens and everything else. So click this, that's my deposit address. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go over to my Binance. I'm withdrawing crypto here. BNB coin is the coin that I want to send. So what I'm gonna do is paste that in. And then we select the network. Now I'm gonna be choosing the BNB smart chain, which is this one right here. And it says, that's fine. You can withdraw any amount. It's gonna go through to this address. Uh, press the amount that you want to withdraw. Now you're using a blockchain, so you do pay a small transaction fee for the blockchain. But once you've chosen the amount that you want to withdraw, that will go into the wallet address of your trust wallet, which is this one right here, which we've copied and pasted. If you need to know how to use centralized exchanges and how to buy and sell crypto and deposit and withdraw money, uh, I'll leave video guides on all of that down in the description as well. I'll also show you how to deposit some stable coins into your wallet. So it's the exact same process. You just have to be really sure about which network that you're using. Uh, so as an example, if I want to withdraw some USDT into my wallet, I have to be sure about which network I'm using. So I'm going to fund again and then receive from another wallet. And I'm gonna search for USDT here. Notice that from before I toggled on both USDT on BNB Smart Chain and on Tron. So it matters because these networks are different and so the addresses are different in my wallet. So for example, if I click USDT on Tron, this is my Tron address for USDT. I'll copy that, I'll paste it in here. And it says, which network do you want to uh, withdraw on? Well, it's TRX Tron, that's the one I want to use. Now, if I go into my BNB, so I'll go to USDT here and then get my BNB address, press copy, then we'll just delete this. And then we'll paste in the address again. Notice that the available blockchains are different. So you just have to be really sure when sending tokens into your wallet 
that you're sending them to the blockchain that you want that uh, asset on. You can swap tokens directly within the wallet. You can also connect the wallet to any application as well, including decentralized exchanges, which may be cheaper overall. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. But firstly, if you do want to swap assets, just press swap here. And it says which blockchain you want to use. I'm going to be using some uh, assets on the BNB smart chain because I've deposited BNB here so I can pay for gas on the BNB smart chain and also use the value here to swap into another token. So I'm going to use the BNB that I've got, but you can search any of the uh, networks that you want to use here. And then any of the coins that you want to swap, you can just click this. And it says, hey, look, you've got a balance of BNB uh, coin. Do you want to swap that? So yes, I do. I can also swap the other tokens that I have uh, balances of. So I'll just swap this and then select the token that I actually want to get. So I'm going to be selling some BNB and then I'm going to be buying some USDT. So I'll click that. And then we can go ahead and just choose how much that we actually uh, want to go ahead and swap. So like that. Um, so I need to choose an amount of BNB. So we'll choose a small amount of BNB. And it says, if you want to sell this much, this is the exchange rate. So I'm going to sell 0 0.0005 BNB, um, which is this much. And it's going to swap it into USDT. So it shows me the exchange rate and everything here and the amount that I would get. And then down at the bottom here, it says the provider is this decentralized exchange. You can see the provider fee and any other gas fees or anything like that. I would switch the slippage tolerance down to something like 0.5% if you can do that. Uh, so we can choose that. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get given here and the actual exchange rate that happens when the swap goes ahead. There might be a slight difference between that. For big tokens like this, you don't want to be paying 3% slippage, 0.5% or something's going to be fine. For smaller tokens, you might need like 1% slippage, something like that, um, but you shouldn't be having any higher slippage than that. If you want to swap one token for another, you can just press swap right here. That will go ahead and swap. Any blockchain that you use, you have to pay a transaction fee on the blockchain known as gas. And so you need some of the gas coin in your wallet to be able to use the blockchain. On BNB Smart Chain, that's BNB coin. On Ethereum, that's ETH. Uh, on Tron, that's TRX and so on. So make sure that you have that coin in your wallet first. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the blockchain or uh, swap any coins. We can also connect our trust wallet to any application that we want to use. You just need to go to that application itself and then connect your wallet. So I'm in Uniswap right here, which is a decentralized exchange. Uh, in the top right hand corner of the app, we just want to press connect. Which wallet do you want to connect? Uh, trust wallet is the one that I've got. So I'm going to connect that one. It says, do you want to connect to Uniswap? I'm going to press connect right here and we're connected. You can now see that in the top right, my wallet is connected to the Uniswap protocol and we can uh, very easily uh, just go ahead and swap. Now I'm on the BNB chain, so we need to actually swap the chains right here. So I'm gonna uh, go to this one and it's gonna read my uh, all my tokens. You can see my token balances are now being read. So BNB coin, and then we're gonna swap into uh, USDT, swap an amount, whatever that may be. And it's going to do the swap itself as, as well. Now, the difference here is that I'm using a decentralized exchange directly. So you may get a better trade or lower fees. You'll have to figure that out yourself. Uh, instead of doing it in the trust wallet itself, you can do it on a decentralized exchange. This is just an example. You can connect to any application in crypto, uh, you know, Aave for lending or anything else, right? You just connect your wallet. You can go ahead and use the application. You're just going to read your balances and then carry out the instructions as you tell it. If you need to withdraw assets from your trust wallet as well, maybe to send them into a centralized exchange so that you can cash out, then just press send in the wallet, which is right here where it says send. It says, which assets do you want to send? These are the assets that I've got a balance of. Let's say that I want to send out some BNB coin so I can do that. It says, where do you want to send it? So I've gone into my Binance centralized exchange, press deposit crypto now. BNB coin is the coin that I want to deposit over the BNB smart chain. That's my deposit address right here. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in here. And it says, how much do you want to deposit? So we're going to withdraw that from our trust wallet. That's going to send the coins to this wallet address, which is of my Binance centralized exchange. Down in the bottom, you can press preview here. You have to pay a gas fee to use the blockchain. That will be taken out of the send. But those coins will be sent back into the other wallet, which is my centralized exchange. You can also use this to send to any other wallet. So if you're sending some USDT to a friend, you just get their uh, address and you send out the coins that you want to send over. Just make sure that you're using the same asset on the same blockchain 
uh, so that it doesn't get lost or anything like that. That's how to send assets out of the wallet itself. I'll leave some other helpful video guides on Trust Wallet and centralized exchanges down in the description below and deposit and trading bonuses on the exchanges I use, I'll link down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.